Some weeks ago I explained the issue around Ferrari's battery system, as it seemed as though at the time that's why Ferrari were getting slower. But we have now had new updates to this story. And maybe, just maybe, it was not the battery after all. The only way to find out is in this video. After Singapore, Russia and Suzuka, it seemed as though Ferrari's battery was causing them issues. Because it was heavily rumoured at the time that Ferrari had to turn that battery down. Because of FIA sensors. But now that's kind of been debunked. After a fresh update on this at the US Grand Prix at Kota. The reason they lost pace at Singapore, Sochi and Suzuka was not because they had to turn their engine down. It's because some of their aerodynamic upgrades have failed. And let's go through the ones that have failed them. Now for Singapore they did bring a couple of new parts. First off was a new rear wing. And an upgrade to the end plates on the rear wing. And they also brought some small upgrades to the barge boards on the Ferrari. But these went on to both fail. And actually make their car a lot slower compared to their main rival's Mercedes. And it actually turned out that the upgrade on the rear wing actually made their car slower in a straight line. Thus explaining why they lost straight line speed for those races. And kind of debunks that entire battery story. And then the third upgrade that failed came at the Russian Grand Prix. Where they brought a small update to the front wing. But that also just did not work out. As the car was now worse in the slower corners. These failed upgrades is why Ferrari fell back. And after taking these off for the races at Texas and Mexico, they're now suddenly back on the pace. So that does explain why they did fall away. Now when it comes to who is at fault for this, it has to be Mattia Bonotto. He is the technical director and this is his job. To make sure these key upgrades actually work on the car. And as we saw at those three races, Ferrari got worse. So for me, Bonotto has to take the blame for that. Now when it comes to the battery story, it's not completely dead. It is a fact that that second sensor is on the car. Because Arriva Bene confirmed that at the Japanese Grand Prix. But I think we can say it was not as big of an issue as we first thought. Now of course we have new information. We'll see though for 2019 if Ferrari are allowed to keep this innovative battery system. I still don't think realistically they're going to. But of course we will see in 2019. Now though when it comes to Ferrari I'm going to cover a different topic. One that was suggested in part 1 of this series. And what it is, is how many points has Vettel lost and Ferrari lost through Vettel's mistakes. And that's exactly what we're going to get into right now. So let's start off at Baku. Where as you know at the end of the race after a safety car restart, Sebastian Vettel dived down the inside of Valtteri Bottas for the lead of the Grand Prix but then locked up and went wide, and eventually finished off the podium in 4th place. Now let's say he didn't go for the move, he probably would have won that race, because of course of Valtteri Bottas's puncture late on. I will say though Vettel was trying to make up for a mistake by Ferrari when it came to pitting, as for one Vettel in the race pitted too early and should not have pitted during the safety car. Then you have his crash with Valtteri Bottas at the start of the French Grand Prix, now if he backed off which he should have done and let Bottas go through, because Bottas was clearly ahead going into turn 1, then Vettel probably would have finished on the podium. So that's about 5 points cost at that Grand Prix. Then we have that massive mistake at his home race at Hockenheim, costing him the full 25 points for a race win, as he went off in the stadium section as the rain was starting to fall. This of course was the key moment in the championship. If he did not make this mistake, he might have won it. I guess we're just never going to know. Then at Monza, he made a mistake by crashing into Lewis Hamilton at the start of that Grand Prix. And for me, cost himself at least a second place finish. As I think Kimi would have let Sebastian through to second because of the title battle. Then at Suzuka in qualifying, he made a mistake and that's why he started the race in P8. And then crashed in the race into Max Verstappen. For me here he cost himself at least 4 points. He definitely had enough pace to finish at least in the top 4. And then you have the US Grand Prix. Where 1 he had a 3 place grid penalty because he didn't slow down enough during red flags in practice 1. And then crashed with Daniel Ricciardo at the start of that Grand Prix. Now even Toto Wolff came out and said this Sebastian Vettel would have won this race without these mistakes. Because overall the Ferrari was the best car that weekend. And cost himself here 13 points. And oh boy does all of that add up. 
Sebastian Vettel's mistakes this season have cost Vettel at least 66 points. That is a ton of points to lose. And it does not end there. Without his mistakes, Sebastian Vettel would be leading the championship by 19 points. 19 points, that is amazing. That just shows you how costly his errors have been. Now let's say he didn't make any mistakes bar say France and Suzuka, he would still be leading the world championship. The big ones of course are Baku, Hockenheim and the US Grand Prix. And maybe Monza as well. What a disastrous season for Sebastian. Something we'll get onto later this month. But of course after all the mistakes that have been made and the upgrades that have failed, the Drivers' Championship is now gone and the Constructors' is almost gone. Mercedes have the chance to beat Ferrari to that this weekend in Brazil. And when it comes to the championship battle, Ferrari have to look at themselves. They themselves are the reason that Mercedes and Hamilton have come out on top. There is no one else to blame but Benotto, the Ferrari strategist and Sebastian Vettel. The three men who are the reason that Ferrari and Vettel have lost the championship. And for me as a team, Ferrari just have to improve. Because they're going to be under the same pressure next year, especially if they do have a fast car. So hopefully in 2019 their car is very competitive. But hopefully for the third year straight they do not bottle it. Because if they do, heads are going to roll. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Thursday with a preview for the 2018 Brazilian Grand Prix. Don't forget as well to join our Discord, link below in the description, the best way to get notifications for my videos as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check out my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what you think of Ferrari's failed upgrades and what you think of Sebastian Vettel's mistakes during 2018. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazar HD, goodbye.